Today we are going over five different ways to write a dispute reason for the same account type. Now, you might have multiple collections or multiple charge-offs or multiple accounts that have late payments and you don't want to use the same thing every single time. Date last active on this one, date last active on this one, date last active on this one, date last active on this one. But if you want to stay at the top of the hierarchy in the pyramid, you kind of want to use this information. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this so that it does not come back as frivolous. All right. So going across left to right at the top, we have charge offs and left to right on the bottom, we have collections. So let's check this out. Charge off example one and we're using the dispute element date last active. You've reported different dates under the date of last activity. Enter your dates there. Stop reporting due to FCRA non-compliance of inaccurate data being furnished on the consumer report. Charge off example two using date last active. Inaccurate data is being furnished and this account needs to stop reporting for FCRA non-compliance. You see how it's the same language but not? There are different dates last active reported and this is where you put your dates. How can there be different dates when this is what stipulates when the account naturally falls off? You can't report different months and different years. Okay, so we're saying the same thing, but we're not. So yes, you are still going to want to use the five part formula for a dispute reason, but I'm just trying to show you that you don't have to say the exact same thing every single time, even though you want to use the same dispute reason type. Charge off example number three. Date last active. I would like for you to remove this account because the dates are completely different when I look at the dates and the date of last activity. See how many times I use the date there? Now this is where you're going to put the actual dates. I know that it's supposed to be the same date. Inaccurate data is being furnished and this account needs to stop reporting for FCRA non-compliance. Now, some of these are a little bit longer and that's okay, but the only reason that I'm showing it to you like this is just to give you an idea of how you can write your reasons differently. Uh, were we on three? Nope, we were on four. Using the element date last paid. Date last paid shows multiple dates and this makes it look like I paid when I didn't and didn't when I paid. How is that possible? How can there be years between bureaus, meaning different years, and accurate data is being furnished, blah, blah, blah. In other words, delete the damn thing, right? All right, so charge off example number five using first date of delinquency. Account has the date of first delinquency reported inaccurately, and this means that the entire account must be removed for inaccuracy, okay? So there's different ways that you can dispute the same thing. These are all for charge offs. Now let's take a look at collections, all right? And this is using the dispute reason that the account is either unknown or unverified, and this is very straightforward. I don't know what this is. Please remove this unverified account unless you can furnish a signed contract. And here is example number two. Using the dispute reason that the account is either unknown or unverified, delete this account because you cannot furnish any documentation that would verify ownership. Remove this unverified account. Okay, so now we're talking about debt buyers. The other one would be used for utility, uh, medical, so on and so forth. All right. So date last paid shows multiple dates and this makes it look like I paid when I didn't and didn't when I paid. Hmm. Doesn't that sound familiar? That's because this is an example of using non-collection dispute reasons for collections. So it doesn't have to be specifically for a collection. It just needs to be something that's going to target the account and get the account removed. Okay. And here's another one for an account such as portfolio recovery. Delete this account because the collection is past due by default and therefore cannot report a past due. It's actually a violation. Here's another one for an account such as portfolio recovery. Delete this account for violation because it reports late payments in the payment history, even though it's a collection. All right. So don't fret. Don't freak out. Don't blow your head off when you have multiple of the same account, charge off, charge off, charge off, charge off, collection, 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 collection. All you have to do is find the thing that's going to give the biggest impact and the best possible chance of removal for that account and then write your reasons so that they are just different. They're just different, okay? I just don't want for you to write, remove this account or delete this account because the date last active is inaccurate, date, 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 date. Delete this account because the account, uh, the date last active is inaccurate. Delete, 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 blah, blah. delete this account because the date last paid is inaccurate. Date, date, date. Delete this account because the date last paid is inaccurate. Date, date, date. You can't do that. Okay. So what I want for you to do is go click on the link 
check this out yourself and start thinking about how you can change up the wording for your disputes when you have the same account type. All right. So if you have questions about this, very simply post a comment, let me know, post a comment anyways, and let me know what you're struggling with, because that means that I can create content that is going to help you. All right. So for right now, I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you for another daily video tomorrow and make sure to like this video, comment as I mentioned, share it with someone who might need it more than you and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great one.